20, 24 inches, 24 inches of hot dog that somebody ate in three minutes. How do you practice for that? It's time to go hang out with our friends and have some fun in two ounce increments. Did you see that walking backwards skill? I used to be a tour guide in college, so no big deal. The first drink is always a hydrating one. <sighs> Let's go have some fun. I've only been to like one beer fest in my life. I got a lot of stickers put on me. Tell me like, what, what's, the, what's the usual go around here for like a brew fest? We wanted it to be local, so all the breweries are within an hour. A lot of the this breweries, these the size that are here, don't do the big ones as much as they used okay. to because they get they've gotten more commercialized. So is that kind of what you guys want to showcase? It's yeah. like, hey, we're bald. This is what we're about. We're gonna invite our friends who are also like that too. It's all the breweries are very collegial. Mm. They're very like, you know, they help each other out. Um, everybody tries everybody else's beers. Yeah. Um, anyway, especially the brewers. Mm. Um, and then, you know, we also have a bunch of like local vendors yeah. that are set up like, you know, just doing stuff out of their houses and things. So, yeah, it was just about getting the community together. And, yeah, uh, you gotta love that. I'm yeah. sure Yardley loves it too, right? It is. Yeah. I do. Uh, it's great to get uh, like extra people in to see Yardley Borough and, and how it's built up over the last few years. Yeah. I got to be more of a walking town. We have uh, 17 different breweries here. So that's a good number. Yeah. Uh, we tried it last year. We had like six or seven that mm -hmm. were much more local. Right. And then we expanded it out to friends that are within, you know, within the hour. Yeah. And we get most of our referrals as far as who people wanted mm -hmm. from our brewers. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. The brewers are like, oh, you should invite this guy. I know him well. Mm -hmm. You know, they're good. Yeah. And so it was, it was kind of that. That's the direction it went. It went from bottom up instead of like, you know. So it's not even just like. Community support, technically speaking, Yardley. It's community support within the brewer community, yeah. too. Yeah. That's exactly. awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, you guys, yeah. I mean, early on, hosted a hell of a show. We got yeah. a lot of beers to drink and try yeah. Yeah. safely, responsibly, always. Yeah. Always a pleasure, okay. sir. Thank you. How are you guys? Here with Naked Brewing, a uh, place with great beer and great glizzies <laughs> out in Bristol. <laughs> so you guys have a beast challenge. What, yes. what is the beast challenge? The last Thursday of every month, uh, we do the beast challenge where you have to dog uh, two so, foot long hot dogs uh, in under 10 minutes. Fully topped. Fully topped. Yeah, in a whole baguette. What is fully topped? What it is? It depends. If you're okay. the first one to sign up for the challenge mm -hmm. for that month, you get to choose the flavor of, and then everybody does Could the be same. Chicago dog. Could be okay. Could be a Texas Tommy. The record there so far is just under three minutes. It was, wow. It's, wow. Seconds, it's ridiculous. And it was amazing. For 24 it's inches of wiener. Yes. That's, 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 a, that's, lot that's, 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 that's a lot of meat. That's great. That is a lot of meat. Yeah, yeah. That's a lot of meat to yeah. eat in three you know, minutes. A lot of, nothing else is fun to watch. It is yeah. a lot. 20, 24 inches, 24 inches of hot dog that somebody ate in three minutes. How do you practice for that? Bitching Kitten. This is an absolutely phenomenal name, guys. Absolutely phenomenal name. Where does that, where does that come from? Okay, so the owners, Michael and Brigitte, um, when they originally got together, Brigitte had a cat named Shadow. Okay. And Shadow absolutely despised absolutely everyone except Brigitte. Mm -hmm. So Michael, he nicknamed her the Bitchin' Kitten. And he was the beer guy, she was the cat lady. So they ever joked, he used to homebrew, that if they had a brewery, they would call it the Bitchin' Kitten in honor of Shadow and how they got together. And 25 years later, here they are and they've got their brewery. Can, what absolutely phenomenal, phenomenal name. <laughs> phenomenal. This is fun. I like Beer Fest, Vault Brew Fest. Oh, I can't wait to come back next year already. And we just got here. A lot of these from the local breweries, mm. Newtown, Warwick. Yeah. Citrus Sensation, fantastic. They okay. Strong over at uh, Newtown's fantastic. Okay. You know, I feel like we're really lucky to have so many great places to get beers. Yeah. In the area. And I'm going to get so tan out here today. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> It's going great. Oh, it's going better now. I love the energy coming out here. Broad Street Brewing. Yeah. Are you guys on Broad Street? No. Okay. <laughs> Tell me where. Tell me the story. Okay. The whole story or the bridge version? Abridged. Okay, bridge version. One of our owners started home brewing on Broad Street, hence why our Belgian is called 201 North, which is that his address. I love that. When he was there. However, we are in Bristol Township on okay. 413, so we're on Durham Road. Okay. Awesome. And you swan obviously with City Hall. It's got my attention. What's that? What do we got going on there? Hey, yo, hazy. Hey, yo, yo, Kaj, let's give it a shot. Energy, energy at Broad Street is unmatched. Thank hey, you so you're much. Very welcome. Oh, perfect. Hey, thirsty, my friend. Oh, that guy's playing a mandolin. You know, I've always said that Brewfests need more mandolins. It's like one of my big sayings. Brewfests need more mandolins. 
And thank God, this band right here, they hear me. They get it. Mandolins. You know what else music needs more of? Horns. It needs more horns. I want, I want one of these. I just think they're fun. I, these guys look fun. Two rivers. I wonder what the two rivers are. What do we got going on uh, beer-wise? Smoked rye lager. Okay. And then I also have a Hefeweizen. I don't know what a Hefeweizen is. Tell me more. So it's a German beer. Okay. Um, the one that we have right now has a lot of banana flavor to it. Oh. Um, it's actually a very nice, it's not overpowering. Okay. But you know how banana kind of takes over everything? That you yes, drink? I do. So it has that banana kick to it. Okay. But it's a very clean, crisp finish. Awesome. Um, so it's, it's a very, very nice right. Okay. And what's what's your role with the with the brewery? What do you guys uh, do? I'm mostly a um, patron. Okay. Here helping him out. <laughs> I love that. That's the support. Yes. Exactly. I am I am a part time brewer. Okay. Brew, brew tender. Yeah. And then uh, I'm a part time manager there too. So. Awesome. Where are you guys located? So we have the, the tap room in Quaker Town, and then we have and then we have the uh, main location is in Easton. Okay. Um, right on Northampton Street. Sure. And that's our that's full bar. And for, uh, okay, awesome, and beautiful. The well, thank you guys, I appreciate it. I'm gonna go up to Alice and let her know how much fun this is. Guys, this is so much fun. This is a blast. Day, oh my God, this is awesome. This is so much fun. fun. It's like manageable too. But everybody's so cool too, like from the people who were just bopping around, who were like, oh, what do you, why do you have a camera here? And they're just talking and they're, they're great. The brewers are great. One thing I've learned about like Yardley in general is everybody is pretty chill. Yeah. That's why I know we said it like eight times on the one video, but like there's just vibes, just good vibes everywhere. This is fun. This is great. You guys are crushing this. Thank you so much. Now we still have this this entire way to go taste all their beer. Yes. Yeah, so. To start start at the beginning, work your way around, then do it again. Oh no, the fuzz. They're not gonna get me. I might hide in the porta potty. How big is the property? Like, is it is it also food? Is it beer? Like, paint me the picture. Yeah, it's 22 acres. Okay. Awesome scenery. Mm -hmm. Really? It's, it's, it's high up on a hill. Wow, okay. It's beautiful. Um, we do have food trucks okay. every day. Yeah. All different stuff. So you just go to our website and you can okay. see our food truck lineup for the month. Perfect. Every day of the week, seven days, or you guys? Uh, Wednesday through Sunday. That's awesome. Yeah, okay. Noon to nine and Sundays till seven. Perfect. And your favorite again was the? The sessions and the margarita shandy. We don't hear up here today. I'm sorry. I mean, but again, that's how you get the people there. It's going to take effect <laughs> yeah. if you don't come by and check it out. Well. You've done a great job. We'll definitely swing thank by. You. Here's some stickers. Oh, Here's thank some you stickers. so much. Margarita Shandy sounds right up my alley. This is this is awesome. This is I gotta take I'm sorry. I gotta take a picture of the Brodello because I'm gonna forget the name and I'm gonna be upset. <laughs> it's a lot of two ounce fun I've had so far. Oh, so sorry. So sorry. Is that a Mets hat, by the way? Yes, I'm a Mets hat. It's, it's very unfortunate, I know. It's okay. I mean, a lot of exciting news that's happened in the last couple days, though. So, but best of luck to you. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, this spot has a blonde coffee stout beer. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I love a blonde stout. And I love coffee. So we'll see what this is all about. I'm good. How are you? I heard you guys have a coffee stout or a blonde coffee stout. Love to try that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Blonde coffee stout. This is phenomenal. Okay. Okay. All year round. Perfect. And then we also have in the spring a okay. coconut um, Irish potato one. Oh, okay. The fall is pumpkin. I overheard that one. That one caught my ear. And yeah. The winter time is a gingerbread. Mm. Well, we'll be there. Perfect. We'll be there. No, this is phenomenal. Yes, thank you so much. How are you? Oh, what's a Czech style like lager? Nice, crispy. Perfect for the weather, honestly. They're looking for something cool. I'm sold. Josh, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. It is crisp. If there's one word to describe this Czech style lager from Free Will, it's crisp. What was the inspiration behind Seven Sirens? And then tell me, because you guys have something funky going on with the Airbnb above the tap room. So, like, so talk we, to me about we it. We have two Airbnbs above Bethlehem. 10% uh, discount if you're staying in the Airbnb. Uh, one sleeps four, the other one sleeps seven. Price doesn't change on guests, so get a couple friends. It's cheaper than an Uber. Um, but we started in my one car garage. Uh, it was 12 foot by 24 foot. I brewed three batches in the in the house. My wife said, this, this stinks. Can you move it to the garage? 
We moved into the garage, uh, spent about eight years brewing in the garage, and then we upgraded to a 7,000 7, square foot parking garage. So just a little bit more space. More space. Uh, didn't have windows, didn't have doors. There was a lot of vision. My partner and I both put our houses up for collateral, everything we've ever worked for. We were all in. Plan B was to make plan A work. So is it important for you to come out to like the community and do things like this to kind of share that, Absolutely. that passion? Um, I think it's very important for, you know, key players of our business, you know, not only myself and my partner, but also bar managers and, and back of house to go out and do events like this, where it's not just a brewery rep that's hired just to go out and pour beer, yeah. um, you know, us guys with passion in, in making what goes in the glass, it's important for us to get out and talk to customers. What's one thing that you want people to know about Seven Cyrus? Our goal is to hit your palate at least twice. Like everybody's palate's different. Um, so not all beer is designed for everybody to like every one of them, but we like diversity and we like flavor. We like people to try new things and, and you know, sometimes go out of their comfort zone and try carrot cake sours. Mm -hmm. And if you try enough of them, you can stay in the Airbnb right above. It's perfect. Absolutely. I had to stop by before we left. This has been going for you guys. Going well. Good. This has, been, this has been awesome. It's been great. Like I said, we wanted to stop off before we go. This has been a lot of two ounces of fun. Thank you. Thank you. That's like the perfect beer to close out the day. Here from Vault, the liquid asset. Smooth, crisp, perfect close to the day. We're having fun. Vault Brew Fest 2024. I can't wait for 2025. How are you guys? Um, I'm doing great, thank you. Can I try to send me, send me an angel, please? Thank you so much. Oh, thank you so, thank you so much, I appreciate it. What's your name? Buddy. Buddy? Doug, pleasure to meet you. I've heard a lot about this one, so this is, this is the last beer before we get out of here. Connor over there run, uh, running the food was like, Try that one before you leave. So, it smells delicious. This came out uh, end of April. I was like super excited for it to come out again. Yeah. So I associate this with summer now. I was gonna say, this is like a melted raspberry water ice. This is insane. The, the Send Me an Angel, hundreds of gallons of raspberry puree from Broken Goblet in Ben Salem. Very, very good. This is delicious. This is so good. This is. Yeah. Yeah, I just said to um, Buddy, the sales director there, I was like, this is like a melted raspberry water ice. This is phenomenal. It's clean, refreshing. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> there we have it, folks. The 2024 Vault Brew Fest here in Yardley. Absolutely phenomenal. Closing up with the Broken Goblet Brewing. Send me an angel. Hundreds of gallons of raspberry puree, and you taste each and every bit of that. Look, this is a great time. Yardley's a great place. Vault's doing an awesome job at this brew fest. If you couldn't make it this year, you may have missed out. So if you made it to 2025, I'm sure you'll see me. We'll have some fun. We'll have some beer. We'll have some cheers. And I don't know, maybe you'll tell me, where are we going next?